These children were victims of what some scientists have called the biggest man-made medical disaster ever. In the late 50s and early 60s, the world saw the arrival and marketing of a medication called thalidomide, a wonder drug that treated, among other things, morning sickness during pregnancy. But it was only after tens of thousands of pregnant people had taken the drug that alarm bells started going off and researchers realized that many of the babies being born had disabilities, including malformed limbs, facial features, and internal organs. In 1961, two medical professionals noticed a link between the drug and birth defects. Soon after they revealed their findings, the drug was pulled in Germany and the UK. By 1962, thalidomide had been banned in most countries where it was sold, including Australia. So how did a drug with such serious side effects get on the market in the first place? Well, after German researchers found that it was nearly impossible to give mice a lethal dose of thalidomide, they dubbed it safe for humans. In the UK, where the drug was marketed under another name, its distributor claimed it was safe for pregnant and nursing people and wouldn't affect fetuses, despite a lack of any evidence supporting this. The total number of people affected by thalidomide remains uncertain, but the Thalidomide Society, an organization that started started as a support network for impacted individuals, estimates that the drug was responsible for 24,000 babies being born with birth defects and 123,000 miscarriages or stillbirths. Starting in 1968, several employees from the German drug maker that developed thalidomide went on trial. However, the company ultimately agreed to compensate victims of the drug and no one was convicted on criminal charges. The banning of thalidomide soon led to a complete overhaul of the drug approval process, and many of those changes are still in place today. Also in 1968, the British licensee of thalidomide agreed to compensate families impacted by the drug. In 2010, the British government apologized to victims of thalidomide, and now, more than 60 years after the tragedy began, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is planning to issue a national apology on November 29th to all those impacted by thalidomide.